as human beings, we are uh, benefiting from an important wealth of products and services uh, from uh, forests. Uh, these products include wood, fruits, vegetables, uh, medicines, uh, and we can even speak of shelter for insects, for uh, animals, and other living beings, uh, which are really essential for, uh, uh, for our ecosystems and also for our livelihood. Uh, people in many developing countries um, are much dependent on these products uh, for their livelihood. And to give you an idea, uh, from the country reports, uh, 2,400 species have been reported as uh, actively managed. Actively managed meaning uh, that they are used for many purposes, they are planted, they are conserved, uh, and in many ways to provide the product that people need. It is widely accepted that uh, natural resources is better managed when local communities are involved because they are those who are using the resources, who knows best the resources. And uh, through the report, many countries have highlighted the needs to better involve uh, local communities in the management of uh, phorogenetic resources. good management of forest genetic resources uh, can be found in quite a number of countries. Uh, I would take an example of Niger, which is one of the Sahelian countries, where they have um, implemented what is called farmers assisted natural regeneration. And this has enabled them to uh, improve the regeneration status of threatened species and to improve also the productivities of their land while uh, preserving the biodiversity within these agricultural lands. Some of the species uh, like uh, Acacia Senegal uh, have populations which are disappearing because of these extreme climatic conditions which, are, which is being worsened because of the climatic uh, change, but also combined with human activities. So these two combines uh, represent a threat that uh, we need to address to uh, prevent these species from being lost.